So once to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. He's got the mommies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the mommies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the mommies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Aubrey and Cole in his hands. He got Aubrey and Cole in his hands. Look! Cody! Where's Cody's name? Mine's right there. No. This is Cody. Uh, this is Mommy. This is Daddy. This is Obby. And maybe if we get a baby. Uh... <laughs> I want another baby! Oh, no. So this is our little prayer journal. Um, so we write the date and then we write any prayer requests that we have and then we pray over them and if we see answered prayers then we go ahead and mark that as well. So Aubrey's just get, getting her pencil ready and then um, we'll go ahead and write our prayer requests. October 2017. Uh, do you have anything? Well, actually I do. Um, so you know that car accident that we oh, saw? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, the man died this morning. What? Yeah. The man died? He did. <gasps> so I think we need to pray for his family. Okay. Okay. Uh, did he have any children in there? Not in the car, and I'm not sure if he had uh, any children. But he was seemed to be okay yesterday, and then he died this morning. So it's very tragic. I guess there's a funeral today. Well, probably in the next day or so, yeah. Yeah, so today we're reading Joseph the Dreamer. Joseph the Dreamer. And this is Joseph and his brothers, and it's from Genesis 37. Genesis 37. Wait, are we still in the Old Testament? Yes, ma'am. Genesis is the first Bible of the book. So of the first book of the Bible. And uh, this one has no letter on it. Uh, just set it aside. N. N. Can Colt say N? N. Colt got hurt. So he's upset. Uh, create this. Um. So we are at the end of our day. This is kind of what our table looks like after a full day of lessons. We just did um, a bunch of stuff on whales, and we were listening to the sound of whales, which was pretty fun to do. So now we're just going to get the classroom kind of cleaned up and tidied up. I'm going to put our dinner in the oven. We are having ham tonight. And <laughs> the frustrating thing is, is that I have to cook it like 40 minutes per kilogram. However, the tag doesn't say how much it weighs. And my little kitchen scale airs out every time I try and weigh it. Because it obviously weighs more than the kitchen scale can handle. So I'm not exactly sure what time to put it in. Um, but it is on a very low heat, like 275. So, um... I don't know. I think it's around a kilogram. Maybe. It, I know it's more than that, but I don't know. It's a guesstimate. Hi! So I'm in the midst of making dinner. It's almost ready. I baked the ham that we got yesterday for our groceries. And I am sauteing up some beans. Um, they're snap beans. And I snapped them. Uh, and I have some set aside for dinner. And the rest I'm going to put in a freezer bag and throw into the freezer. So we've done some research about whether or not you should blanch beans before you freeze them and a lot of people just don't and they turn out fine so I don't have a lot of beans here just a few cups and um, so I'm not really that worried about it um, and so let me just show you how I have done these beans because it's a really quick side dish 
Okay, so in my pan, please excuse like the blackness in here. When I got this set of cookware after I got married, I didn't really know how to cook, and so I kind of ruined my pans. Um, I put in a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and then I minced a clove of garlic in here, and I got that going until I could actually smell the garlic cooking. Um, you don't want to have your garlic on high heat, and you don't want to leave it on the stove long because it will burn, and burned garlic is very, very bitter. So once I started to smell that oil, smelling like garlic, I added in my beans, and I'm basically just sauteing them. Um, you could even drizzle in some balsamic vinegar, which I think, I don't know, I may do. But you can drizzle in balsamic vinegar and it will take the taste to a whole other level. So good. Um, and then you, you know, just, I'm just, I'm stirring it now so you have something to look at. But you really, you know, just need to keep it moving every now and again. I have it on a very, very low heat. So here's a shot of my upper freezer. It is stuffed to the gills, y'all. Stuffed. Um, some of this stuff is actually going to come out because I'm going to um, start using it up this, these next couple weeks, but I have a little spot for my beans up here on top of my taco soup. I have you balanced on this shelf I have in my kitchen, um, so it would be wiggly when I talk to you. But I wanted to mention that um, the accident that we saw yesterday... Um, the guy uh, went to the hospital and he actually was released from the hospital last night and he went home he made a post on Facebook just being so thankful that he was alive and then this morning he passed away um, and it's I've just felt so sick and sad about the whole thing um, I if you go on my Instagram account you can read kind of more of my thoughts on um, the situation about how I just really feel like these two friends who I happened to see yesterday were in my path for a reason to keep us protected from that accident. One thing that I had read this morning was someone had driven by even earlier than we had and the man was actually hanging out of his window um, and if my kids had seen that like I just I don't even know. Um, and my heart just, I it, it breaks. And this morning we prayed, as you saw, um, for the family of the man. Um, I don't know. The reality is we just, we just never know when our next last breath will be. And that should give us all pause to think about our own lives and how we're living and what we're living for. I had made a post, um, I went online uh, onto Facebook, our community has a Facebook page and I went on and someone had posted about his passing and I just left my condol condolences and about how um, we had prayed for the man's family and just how we were so so sorry. Um, and in the article that our uh, community newspaper did about um, his passing they actually quoted me which is kind of crazy um, I feel like I wish I had said something more something more but um, it came from a place of I don't know a place of just feeling sorry that he lost his life and I don't know what caused the accident and it doesn't even matter. It's just my husband's home. So we're getting ready for our nightly cleanup. Um, the kiddos are going to clean up the living room and all their play spaces. And then they're going to go in the tub. I'm starting my dishes. And then once they're out of the tub, we are actually going to make chocolate chip cookies. They were very excited because I just kind of just, I don't know, just wanted to, I felt like baking. Um, <clears throat> so they really wanted to help, but it's really, I mean, it's going on 20 after 6. Usually I like to have them in bed at, um, 7, 7, 7.30-ish, um, 
and but I said they could stay up and help me mix up the batter so that should be fun so I am going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up as much as I can so we can make some cookies. So Shane is going training with the dogs this evening so it kind of if you hear them yipping they're all super excited to go training. Um, This uh, notebook here I was talking to my sister today about recipes family recipes and things like that and I had said to her I was like I went through when we were, um, before I got married, and I went through my mom's cookbooks, like her favorite cookbooks, and wrote down recipes. And so we had, um, like, church cookbooks, and um, everybody could contribute recipes to them. And so I went through a lot of the church cookbooks, and I wrote down recipes that um, came from a different family members like my grandma and my grandpa and my mom and my sister and I when we were little we contributed um recipes each of the girl each of my sisters I guess I should say so I wrote all of that down I would kind of leaf through and show you a whole lot of things however there are names because I did write the names of the people but anyways just this simple notebook has been one of my most used treasures I stuff all of these recipes that I've printed from my mom, like if I ask her, oh, how do you make this? Um, I just stuff everything in here. I think I want to go through sometime this winter and actually make a really nice recipe binder, but um, yeah, I guess all that to say, if you have somebody in your life who's going away from home or who's getting married, um, recipes are treasures and write them down. And it can be honestly just as simple as um, writing it in a notebook or you can get even fancier and type things up on a laptop but to have the treasure of this sort of information is priceless I have referred to this so many times and actually my grandma's recipe for pumpkin pie is in here and Canadian Thanksgiving is this Monday and I'm gonna volunteer to actually make pies um, it'll be my first time but I'm gonna volunteer to make the pies and I'm gonna use my grandma's recipe and it's found in here so here's the leftover ham. I picked the ham clean. I cut off what I could from it. And then I was left with the ham bone. Now I am going to go ahead and stick this in a freezer bag. I'm going to put it in the fridge for now, only because I really don't have a lot of freezer space. Um, and once I start to take a few things out of the freezer in the next day or two, I may just freeze this, or I may go ahead and make soup with it or something of that nature. But do not throw these bones away. These make wonderful, wonderful soups. And, you know, chicken carcasses, turkey carcasses, beef bones, those make delicious and wonderful broth. So, as easy as that, stick it in a freezer bag, throw it in the freezer. I'm putting it in the fridge for now. Well, friends, it is about 8.30 at night. I am pulling the cookie dough out of the fridge to finish up these cookies. I have my sink running. I'm going to finish the dishes that we made with the cookies. I'm going to put the other dishes away, and hopefully this will all go quickly. And I can go relax because it's late, and... Mom was ready to take a load off her feet, but I am really committed um, to making sure that I complete my evening routine, so I'm going to do that. So, <sighs> anyways, here is to getting things done this night. I am going to sign off and say good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.